In this video, I am levitating a magnet with two pieces of pyrolytic graphite. They're basically two discs of thin pyrolytic graphite. Normally, it's the other way around. What you're normally doing is elevating or levitating the pyrolytic graphite over the strong magnet. If one takes a bunch of neodymium cube magnets and arranges them so the poles are like this, alternating north, south, north, south, in a square, and you can make that, that square as big as you want. You have a structure which can suspend and balance, is that you get these stable areas, balance um, pyrolytic graphite. And this pyrolytic graphite is, is basically hovered, hovering above these magnets. And uh, it's a friction-free setup, as you can see here. You can see these bits of pyrolytic graphite just kind of floating there in midair. Here's another piece. This is a smaller piece. It's a little bit thicker than the other one. And this is this is actually pencil lead. This one right here is pencil lead, which has similar properties. It can also it's also diamagnetic. So um, this is what. It's usually done with pyrolytic graphite, it's usually suspended. But as I um, will show, you can use it to suspend a heavy magnet, such as one of those neodymium magnets, if you can balance out gravity. But in this case, I'm, o I'm levitating the magnet in between the pieces of pyrolytic graphite. That's a brass nut that you see on top. And I'm using a magnet above to balance out the force of gravity. And um, if I get the uh, spacing just right, I can make that magnet hover in midair. And uh, it's pretty much doing that right now. Here I have the uh, magnet adjusted just right, so the uh, small magnet is now hovering pretty much in midair. Pyrolytic graphite is the most diamagnetic substance known at room temperature. It's kind of quite expensive. You can get small bits of it on eBay. There are ways of making it. Thanks for watching and please check back for more videos.